What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of Attack once again, and today we're going to talk about how and why to mine Ryo currency, even after all of the drama between Sumo Coin and Ryo. So stick around. Welcome back. So if you guys haven't noticed, if you've been on sumopool.sonofattack.com, it looks quite different. That's because basically we've redirected the DNS records to go to a Ryo pool instead. Essentially what happened is Ryo and SumoCoin forked while SumoCoin went ahead and swapped it back to Kryptonite. Ryo went with Kryptonite Heavy, staying on the original fork that SumoCoin had done. Now there was some drama between developers and so on and so forth that caused this. Some of it was unpayment or non-payment to the now developer or head developer of Ryo. And some of it was because, well, Sumo swapped the Crypto Knight to steal their network back during all of that drama from Ryo. So should you mine this coin, is it going to have any future? Well. After speaking to both parties for a, a, a little bit and kind of observing the different discords and so on and so forth, I decided that I was going to stick with Ryo instead of Sumo Coin, primarily based on the fact that I support GPU mining. There is also the fact that I was able to actually get some decent responses from the Ryo team, and there doesn't seem to be any hostility going on over there, and they are moving forward. A lot of the implementation of the good things that happened with Sumo Coin, where they beat, of course, Monero to sub addressing and a few other features, were all implemented not by the original devs of Sumo Coin, but by Fire Ice, who also is the developer of XMR Stack, which is a fantastic, if not one of the best, XMR mining or miners mining tools out right now. So we'll actually be using that as well for this, which will be optimized the best, of course, for his own coin. So there you go. Is, is it going to be the best thing to mine? Not always. However, it is moving up the list in what to mine as far as profitability. I think that he has the skill to continue developing the coin. And while it would still be considered a <clears throat> shit coin, it is one that definitely has a developer behind it that I kind of have a little bit more faith in than a lot of the others. So all of that aside, you can hit up all of those addresses at ryo.sonofattack.com or if you were mining on Sumo Pool, uh, if you go ahead and use the previous Sumo Coin uh, tutorial that I did, it's going to actually work for this as well. The only difference is you'll have to change your address from a Sumo address to a Ryo address. Let's go through the details now. Okay, so lots of things have changed since, of course, basically I made my last video. We have a new front end for all of our crypto note pools and it's pretty clean and I like it. Now we didn't develop this, this is open source and we'll be going over how to build your own pools here on this channel as well. So if you're interested in that, definitely hit the subscription button. I have a good enough kind of grasp on it over the past year of building pools and tearing them down and building them to be able to do that for you guys. So I'm super excited about that new series. However, you know, if you want to support us, you can mine to our pools. Right now we have nobody on here. Well, because I haven't made a video about it. We are still testing. I have about five workers and three miners on here and our time to find is apparently 19 hours. But if you guys hop on there now, hopefully that'll change. I do have a buffer in the pool, so we shouldn't have any issues if there's something going on funky with the fees and then we'll figure it out as the payments happen. That being said, you're gonna be mining to ryo.sonofattack.com or sumopool.sonofattack.com. Basically, both of those are pointed to, well, the same server. So now we're going to need to first, of course, as always, grab the wallet. There's plenty of options here, including a command line wallet, as well as a GUI wallet, it is a light, which we'll be using today, and a full node wallet. The light will not really require us to download the entire blockchain, and therefore is going to be the best. I always recommend installing it on a VM so you can turn that VM off and make it a cold wallet, which is preferred. Now, my VM is already connected. It's called Soap Wallet. And if you guys are interested in how to do that, we will spin up another how-to for that in the future. But if you're gonna install it right now on your Windows system, you're just gonna click downloads on the Ryo currency, basically main web page, scroll down to the light remote node and grab the 64-bit Windows installer. Keeping in mind that of course, they do not support 32-bit. Once it's ready, you can open the folder, right click and select 7-zip and extract here. 
this point it should just be the installer itself and you should be able to double click to run it. Some security settings might come up, click yes to go ahead and continue through with that and click agree. Now if you have a Windows firewall enabled, you will need to go ahead and allow it through the firewall. In my particular case, since I run this as a cold wallet, I keep the firewall off and I just turn the VM off once I'm done accessing my wallet. Now I'm gonna click close here and we should be all installed and ready to go. As you can see here, we have the Ryo Lite wallet. We're gonna double click it and we can choose to restore a wallet or create a new wallet. In this case, we are gonna create a new wallet and set our password select your language and let it create the wallet. Now it will display your mnemonic key as well as your view key for your private key and all of that goodness right here. I highly recommend keeping this private, but we're just gonna want to copy the address. Okay, so at this point we have the address that we want to mine to and we've created a super cool tool here while the open source devs have to where you're gonna have a very easy time figuring out the script that you need to run. So basically, if we head on over to ryo.sonofatech.com, we can go ahead and click over to the Getting Started tab and select our hardware. You have low end, mid range, high end, and then of course the nice hash port. Now, depending on what you have, and in most cases because of the the audience that we have here, which is, you know, mining with your gaming rig and so on, I'm going to recommend 3333. If you start getting rejected shares, then what you're going to want to do is bump the difficulty up. Enter your wallet address that we copied earlier into the wallet address slot and name your rig. We're gonna go so test and we are going to click generate configuration. Scrolling down, you'll see that we have one for XMR stack, XMR rig, XMR rig AMD, Nvidia, and XM rig CC. So you're good to go right here. The next thing that you're gonna need to do if you're on Windows is install the miner. I'm gonna recommend XMR stack. You can click the download button over here to the right to go ahead and download it. Once you've downloaded it, you will have it in your downloads and I am going to recommend dragging it to your desktop, right clicking and extracting by using 7-zip, which I'll also leave a link to in the description below. It'll then go ahead and extract to a folder, which you can double click and open and it should look something like this. At this point, you're going to want to run XMR stack. It will walk you through basically generating your configuration so we can do a zero. And then we're gonna select the coin or the algorithm. In this case for Ryo, it actually has one already set for you. So we're gonna select Ryo, super easy there. For the pool address, as you're gonna see here, we can double check all of these settings here in a second, but our pool address is gonna be ryo.sonofatech.com, 3333 for the port. You can right click into your command prompt to paste that on over and press enter. For your username, you're going to be using your wallet address right here. So we're just going to copy and paste it right here as well. For your password, go ahead and just type in X. Your rig identifier will be the name that we did earlier. So in this case, so test is what we're going to put in. Press enter. And does it support TLS or SSL? Yes, it does, but we are not going to use it. So enter. Would we like to use NiceHash? No. Would we like to use multiple pools? No. So at this point, it's going to generate the config and start mining. I am going to cancel it as we are recording and I actually have an error. So what is this error? This is an interesting one. Currently, it creates the wrong config. So as soon as we can cancel out of this with control C, hopefully, there we go. So as soon as we can cancel out of that with control C, I'm gonna show you guys that basically the CPU configuration ended up correct. We're okay here. We have a Threadripper 1950X, so for every four threads, we basically want to put in a CPU to mine on. Not too concerned with that, but that's how that works. For our NVIDIA config, if you're on 1080 Ti, it actually sets these incorrectly. You're gonna want to change your B sleep and your blocks and your threads Knocking the threads down to about 21 seems to really solve that for Windows 10. Your B factor to 8, and B sleep is fine at the 25. Control S to save, and then rerun, 
that's just going to be something you want to take into consideration. This configuration right here that they place here is actually going to be the pools config and you can come into here and change that up as well. This is just to help you get a start on all of the options. Now, you guys know that I'm not a big fan of mining in Windows 10 and that I prefer Hive OS. So we're gonna head over to hiveos.farm and I'll show you guys how to set it up in here. We're gonna log in real quick and we are gonna go ahead and click on over to wallets. On wallets, you will click new wallet and under the new wallet, just call it Ryo. I'm gonna call it Ryo2. And then we're going to want to essentially start filling it out. You are going to want to use XMR stack, which will work for AMD and Nvidia. Choose your fork, which is gonna be Fierce UK. And then you're going to want to select your wallet or worker template. And this is essentially just going to be your wallet address as well as the worker name. So that's pretty simple. You are just essentially going to enter your wallet address here and then dot and the worker name. Now we will have to run a config override here and the config override we can actually pull right off of this page. The thing that we're going to want to override is the currency. So the currency needs to be set to Crypto Knight Heavy. Copying this over here and into the config override, we'll go ahead and solve that issue for us there. The pool URL is going to be pretty simple as well. If we click back over, the pool address is ryo.sonofatech.com and the port is 3333. So we'll copy that and paste that there and then click OK. Once we're done with that, we'll head on over to the rig. We'll click on the edit button on whichever rig we're wanting to change over to. Select the miner as XMR stack and select the coin as Ryo and click OK. At this point, it will reload the rig with the new config and you'll be off to mining on the SOAT Ryo pool. If you guys have any more additional questions, you can select the Discord button, which will head you on over to our Discord channel in the pool support portion of that. Or you can select the contact us, which should prompt you to open up Excel or whatever email application you use and email support at sonofatech.com. So there you go, it's pretty much as simple as that to start mining Ryo. It's currently probably the fourth most, I guess, basically best <laughs> thing to mine for GPU mining. I think of course you do have Loki, which I would definitely highly suggest as well. And maybe we'll put up a guide or spin up even a pool for it if you guys show interest in that as well. The next couple guides are gonna be, we have a masternode guide coming out as well. And we also have a how to build your own pool. I think we're going to be focusing on Aon, Aon, A-I-O-N for how to build that initially. And then we'll move on to some other ones. If you have ideas or suggestions, let me know in the description below. If you watch enough of these tutorials, you'll start to be able to figure out how to do pretty much everything in the crypto sphere that you need to learn how to do. Now, as far as the entire Ryo thing goes, the support on mining the pool would be awesome, but not expected. Do your own research, find the coins you believe in, and mine those. Also, don't focus on initial profit, because I think that we, we kind of go and we look at them and we're like, well, what am I going to make right now? Keep in mind, the projects that grow and have legs are going to increase in, of course, value over time. And the guys that made money on things like Ethereum and Bitcoin were the ones that were mining it when it didn't make sense with your power bill. And they held. So, hope that's some encouragement to you guys. Keep, keep vigilant, stay strong, keep holding, and I'll see you next Tuesday.